because he was a man of war through his hands a lot of blood was shed in the many battles that he undergo, uh, underwent and now Solomon during peacetime all over Israel is the one who was entrusted anointed appointed to build the first temple for God <clears throat> You want to understand what the temple was all about? You have to study the tabernacle. The tabernacle was a portable worship place for all the Jewish people, the Israelites. Centuries later, during the time of David and Solomon, they wanted to build a structure called the temple for God as a replacement for the tabernacle this time is going to be modern this time is, is, is going to be situated in Jews, Jerusalem this time is not it's no longer going to be portable okay centuries later so 400 744 years later the first temple temple was built okay it survived 400 years after 400 years, that temple, the first temple, was destroyed. By whom? It was destroyed by King Nebuchadnezzar, okay, in 570 BC. If you're taking down notes. It was in ruins for 70 years, the first temple, okay? You have to stay with me. It was in ruins for 70 years as part of God's judgment for the Israelites. I promised myself not to go and discuss about the election. Okay, so I won't. Because it's really no big deal. The Philippines will be blessed by God if the Christians will repent. And the non-Christians could benefit from God's blessing. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Okay? So it was in ruins for 70 years. Later on, there was a guy named Cyrus the Great. He was the king of Persia, what we call Iran today. Notice the words from the Word of God. Now in the first year of King Cyrus of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of prophet Jeremiah, the Lord stir, stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he sent a proclamation. This is a pagan king. This is not a follower of Jehovah God. He sent a proclamation throughout his kingdom and also put it in writing saying thus say Cyrus king of Persia the Lord God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and he has appointed me to build him a house in Jerusalem which is in Judah whoever there is among you of all his people may the Lord his God be with him and let him go up amazing it's so amazing how even for an unbelieving king, the Lord could work to them. Diba? Here I go again. People are praying for the next president to be God-fearing and uh, <coughs> everything. As if, you know, if you have a born-again president of the Philippines, everything will be okay. Not true. God could work even through pagan kings and evil kings if God wants to. Right? Somehow we are building this criteria that we have to have a theologian for a president, a spiritual leader, a Bible believer, everything. You know? And I'm not... If you think I'm endorsing Duterte, I'm not. Okay? I cannot vote this year because me and my wife procrastinated registration. So we cannot vote. But I have a biblical stand on what's happening today. And I'm going to stop right now. So the Lord worked in the heart of King Cyrus. And King Cyrus allowed 
a temple be built. What number? Temple number two. In 538 BC, Sirubabel, a leader of the tribe of Judah, was part of the first wave of Jewish captives to return to Jerusalem. Remember, they were in captivity for 70 years. The temple was destroyed. The first <laughs> temple was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar and a lot, a lot of Israelites were in captivity and they were freed after 70 years and the first wave, the first batches, the first batch of those who were freed were the batch of Sirubabel. And Sirubabel was instrumental in building temple number two. The Persian king appointed Sirubabel as the governor of Judah, Haggai 1.1. And right away, Sirubabel began building the temple with the help of Joshua the high priest. The first temple built by King Solomon had been destroyed by the Babylonians in 587 BC. It took Sirubabel two years to build the foundation of the temple. Okay. Sirubabel in our cartoons, in our drawing, writing up some plans for mm -hmm. temple number two with the help of Haggai and the prophet Zechariah. Now the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, the son of Edo, prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Then Zerubbabel began to rebuild the house of God that is in Jerusalem, and the prophets of God were with them, supporting them. Okay. <coughs> this is, again, a drawing of Zerubbabel's uh, temple. And it was renamed, what? Herod's Temple. Why Herod's Temple? Because the second temple was renovated by Herod 20 BC, before Christ was born. It was renovated. Okay, are you with me? It was built by King Solomon. It was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. It was laid waste for 70 years. Now it was rebuilt thanks to Sirubabel and thousands of Israelites. A temple was built. Years later, after it was built, the second temple, it was renovated. From what I read and from what I studied, this guy, Herod, was fascinated with the architecture and expanded pinalaki niya po yung second temple now with malls and um, food courts and merchandise and commerce around the vicinity of the temple are you still with me temple number two here is a video clip of the temple I think he was the SMDC nung unang panahon. Putting uh, condos and uh, commerce around uh, the temple. When we read about Jesus being in the temple, this is what the New Testament was referring to. When 
Jesus uh, turned the tables of the money changers in the temple, <laughs> this is what he was referring to. This was the place. When our Lord was traveling with his apostles and the apostles asked him in Matthew 20, uh, 24 and 25, Lord, when will you be back? When is the end of the world? The Lord looked at a spot in the temple at ang sabi ng Panginoon, no two stones will be together, everything will crumble down. This is the temple that the Lord was referring to. Well, that's not the temple, that's the, the surrounding areas of the temple, and you will see the temple in a few seconds. <laughs> that's a temple. And the insides of the temple is a structured replica of the tabernacle. The parts, the rooms, the articles, the elements are just uh, an overblown replica of the tabernacle. That's the courtyard. Remember, the tabernacle also had a courtyard. Before the tent, there's a courtyard outside. When Christ was asked, Christ said, you know, uh, this temple will be destroyed in three days i will rebuild it again and people who heard uh, our lord said that uh, claimed that ang sabi nila my goodness this temple was built for hundreds and hundreds of years this guy is claiming that the temple will be destroyed and in three days he will build it up this guy is nuts what christ was referring to was his own body they were thinking about this temple but the Lord was referring that He would resurrect in three days and He was calling His body the temple. You see how expansive Herod uh, 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 built the existing temple? He just like added so many things. That's why Christ was so hated. They cannot grasp the spiritual aspect of his teachings. Beggars will be there, the lepers will be there, you know, merchants will be there. was the 